Robert Downey Jr. will star as Doctor Doom in Avengers Doomsday. Let's unpack that for a second. So over this last weekend was San Diego Comic Con, and you know I I completely forgot that it was even happening in the past like three years. I think Marvel actually hasn't even gone, or Disney in general hasn't even gone to San Diego Comic Con because you know Disney has their own Disney Expo, so they usually save their big announcements for that. I don't even think they've even been to San Diego comic con like i said in the last three years and there's a lot to unpack here because it looks like it looks like a couple things and we're i'm probably going to making multiple videos about this i got uh mr j messaged me last night we got to talk about doom and i already I, I halfway last night like saw started seeing the videos on tiktok and stuff like that and i was like oh my god are you serious and then i just kind of went to bed didn't think too much about it i've told friends at work and you know in general i, I think i've talked about it maybe on the stream i've talked about it i feel that like there's only one one way to do Doctor Doom correctly in Marvel, and that is simply to make it, you have to Darth Vader it. That is the only way that I feel you can do it correctly. We'll talk a little bit more about that, but let's talk about why is why, first of all, and then the Russo brothers are coming back too, and they're directing both Doom, Doomsday, Avengers Doomsday, and they're also going to now be directing Secret Wars, which I thought was going to be Matt Webb, and a lot of like, what's going to happen ever since Jonathan Majors was essentially fired as Kang the Conqueror and for the most part and we'll talk i want to talk a little bit about that as well things that i feel like that this is damage control from marvel the reason why i feel like this is damage control and uh robert downey jr has stated that you know at endgame he was done he put the role away he was done different variants and i've seen different people tw i've seen tiktoks youtube shorts youtube videos i've seen tweets robert downey jr playing a variant version of tony stark who just happened to have a terrible life and, and becomes dr do let's let's let me put all those rumors to rest because i've got the inside scoop here the fact that a lot of y'all missed this in the announcement kind of blows my mind he's not playing a tony stark variant hey let's just forget that okay not to say that there might not be a tony stark variant in the films at some point i mean now that he's there he could easily play a different version of iron man as well they straight up say the rooster brothers straight up say there's only one person that we can think of who can play victor von doom they didn't say tony stark they didn't say dr doom they said victor von doom the only thing that threw me off about the announcement when he actually comes out it takes off the you know drops the hood and takes out the mask and it's like oh it's gonna be he's gonna be playing uh victor von doom this is awesome i, I was kind of just like wait a second what and then he puts on then he puts on the art he puts on his glasses which to me came across as something that tony stark would do dr doom and tony stark are polar opposites victor von doom is a sorcerer he could have been the sorcerer supreme his power level and how strong he is is on the level of dr strange if not higher, they have nerfed Doctor Strange in the MCU. He has been nerfed. Victor Von Doom only cares about his world, his land, La Laveria, where he lives at. He, he rules it. You know, and he's very much like about his appearance. Like his, his appearance is everything. And he got severely scarred across his face, which is why he wears the helmet. That's why he wears it. And then also he builds the suit because it also helps him channel and amplify his magical powers. I thought when they introduced Doctor Strange, next what the next big bad guy we were gonna get was gonna be Doctor Doom because now we've introduced the audience to magic, all that crazy stuff. So now it's and then you have Iron Man, all the technology, and then you had Wakanda with all the crazy like nanotechnology stuff they've been doing. And then in Phase Four, especially with uh, Falcon the Winter Soldier, where they actually went to Liberia, you do the whole thing with like Sharon Carter, yeah, and she was like talking to somebody. She's like. Like I'm in. You know, I was like, oh my god, they are setting up Doctor Doom. Which they can still do that. They can still and say that's who she was working for. She was the inf she was he was that guy, and we just never saw his face. You know, they can still go and do that. And that would tie it all the way back to face to Falcon the Winter Soldier. I like I touched on earlier in the video. I always was under the impression that the best way, and I still feel this way, the best way to do, and they might still do this, I don't know is to not necessarily cast an actor to play him. Like, just get somebody to be like... Because Dr. Doom's a big guy. I've always felt that Dr. Doom better if you had... Like, Dr. Va like Dr. Vader. Dr. Vader. Darth Vader. You have a voice actor, an iconic voice actor, an actor, to do the voice. 
Then you can cast whoever you want to be in the suit. And you can do several movies that way. And have him be our long-running villain. And then, like, if you have to go back and say, we're going to do the origin story of Doctor Doom and his upbringing. So now we need to cast a younger actor. They did that with Darth Vader. They cast which everybody cracked on early on, but now they love him. Now we all love him now. Now we're all, oh my God, Hayden, Hayden Christian, we're sorry. I thought he was great as Anakin back then. This is damage control because phase four and five, in their eyes, financially, was a failure. And as a result of that, how just, I don't know, like, you think I would be super hyped for this. And then, like, if you look at the comments, and, like, I haven't looked up, and I haven't really read much comments, but even these comments on, on the on the tweet that I have up here the from, uh, we have one person saying, no way, this has to be a joke. Uh, I hate you, 3000. All my hype instantly died. I love RG Day, but what the F? And then, like, what? Uh, oh, this isn't a fake account. While... In the video that have been posted online, people cheer. And I like the fact that they have all these different people dressed up in Doctor Doom outfits. Because that makes me feel like we're gonna get the Doom we're gonna get the Doom bots. That makes me feel like we'll get Doom bots. Is awesome on its own right there because that's like one of his signature things right there. I feel like the reason why they went with Ar Arbor Downey Jr was for two reasons. That it will cause hype. And all they do is hear, like, oh my god, Robert Downey Jr. is coming back. And he's playing a villain? Oh, he's playing a, an evil version of Doc... He's playing an evil version of Tony Stark. That is how the general audience is going to look at this. The second thing is that I feel like for Marvel, they feel like it's a sure thing. I say that because they also brought back the Russo brothers in two years. Le Leia comes out in two years. And then a year after that, Secret Wars comes out in 2027, where they're going to set up the... I don't know if they're going to do this, but like if they're going to go... I always felt from the very beginning when they first announced Secret Wars, they're going to go with the second run. The second run of Secret Wars. The first Secret Wars was basically a commercial to sell toys. And the second one was actually the Fantastic Four run a couple years before that, where they actually introduced the incursions and they built up to it in the comics through like, you know, the Avengers and, and like the X-Men. They, they kind of slowly built up to Secret Wars happening. Always, and this is a reboot. This is this is going to be either a soft reboot. I would prefer I would prefer if Marvel would just figure out what they want to do because it seems like what they've wanted to do was just do every single character under the sun. Give every single character in Marvel Comics a way to shine. It's just, uh, there's just so much to unpack here, guys, and I'm trying to keep this kind of cohesive. Uh, the last thing I want to talk about is the Russo Brothers coming back, Avengers Doomsday, and Avengers Secret War going to be basically Infinity War and Endgame all over again. Hope not. I have this strong, strong gut feeling we're going to see a lot of the same beats is that Infinity War had basically nine years of buildup. We've got Captain America Brave New World next year. I think Fantastic Four. Yeah. I think it comes out in a year. Uh, you have Thunderbolts, which now has an extra smirk, which is weird. And then I think Blade was announced too, coming out. And then Doomsday and Secret and uh, Secret Wars. That's it. That's all we have left. Everything else is off the table. Where's the buildup? Where is the buildup? The only thing that even remotely can like build me up to Doctor Doom. You know, maybe maybe Doctor Doom will make an appearance, like a somewhat like maybe appearance. Captain America: Brave New World because of Sharon Carter. Maybe I don't know if she's gonna be in the film. She might actually be. They actually might put that in the Thunderbolts. Because we don't know who the Thunderbolts are going up against, as far as I know. I haven't heard anything about a villain, even though half of them are villains. Basically, Marvel Suicide Squad. I don't- I think they were betting on the fact that Robert Downey Jr. coming back is going to be, like, a huge hype for people. And then bringing the Rooster Brothers back, it's like, oh, this is the culmination of, like, the last, like, what, five years? And the last five years has basically gone nowhere. We've, and then there's the whole Kang thing. Like, I didn't I didn't even touch about the Kang thing. So, obviously, they dropped the Kang Dynasty film. So, either two things are going to happen. They're just going to, like, pretend like it didn't happen. Or they're just going to say, oh, yeah, it, it, you know, Loki's Loki defeated Kang. And defeated, basically, what he did. Stop the Ka the Council of Kang. The whole multi-universal war that Kang predicted in the first season. Loki defeated that. He prevented that from happening. By doing that, he also opened up the doors to another villain, which is Doctor Doom. I'm okay with that. Because Kang, honestly, or Kang... Kang felt more like he's a one-time shot villain, like he comes back from the future, blah. Well, granted, you know, he's different. There's different versions of Kang and blah, 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 but he's not, he's not like a franchise, like builder to his own movie kind of thing. They might still recast him just for like minor role or whatever. I don't know. I've heard, I've seen people saying Terrace Howard should recast to play Kang and be like an underling of Doom. I think that'd be hilarious actually. But I don't know, guys. Let me know what you guys think of the comments down below. I know I rambled on a little bit. If you guys want me to make a, a breakdown video of anything I discussed today, let me know in the comments comments down below and i'll be more than happy to make a video about that i actually have like three videos thank you guys so much for watching if you guys enjoyed watching this video be sure to hit this video with a like button leave a comment down below it does help video get out to more people and as always guys until next time